As you know, I've been talking about it in my vlogs. I've been testing my 2021 morning routine. And this year, it was so important to me that it be an attainable morning routine. I want to preface this by saying I do not wake up at five every day. I wake up between five and 5.30 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's the best way for me to elongate my weekend to get to Trader Joe's before everyone else. <laughs> and to go out and enjoy the cool, crisp air before it gets humid in Texas. The rest of the week, I wake up between 7 and 7.30, and that's the amount of time I need to make sure that I get in the things that are important to me. What's important to me in a morning routine? I think this is something that everyone figure out. Three things that are important enough to you that you'll wake up one hour before your original wake up time to get accomplished. For me, that's drinking more water getting in movement or meditation, and being able to cook myself breakfast, make coffee, and sit down and enjoy it. Not have to rush somewhere, not have to be on a Zoom call, to sit down, enjoy a podcast. Right now, I really love the Mind Power mixtape, and don't judge morbid it's a true crime podcast it's available on audible plus thank you so much to audible for sponsoring this video if you don't know much about audible audible is the world's leading spoken word entertainment platform it's so much more than audiobooks there's guided fitness there's theatrical performances there's so many podcasts i've also really been liking the 21 day intro to cycling so if you want to try out a free month of audible plus head down to the link in the description box or head to audible.com backslash eden or text eden to 500 500 you know i've been using audible for years and i love that the memberships and plans have continued to evolve and audible plus is like my perfect match for entertainment throughout the day. I love the guided fitness. I love the new meditations on the app. Oh, I'll share the one that I did in my morning routine a little bit later, but just do it. Get your free month of Audible Plus. Head to the link in the description or go to audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500-500. Without further ado, let's get into my 2021 healthy morning routine. I've been one of those people for years that rolls out of bed and puts on my workout clothes that I have laid out the night before. And then I make my bed. When I had a dog, I did not always make my bed first thing because she liked to sleep in. <laughs> but now I make my bed first thing in the morning. I am a big advocate for making your bed. It gives you one thing to check off of your list, gives you a sense of accomplishment, and I find that it breaks the excuse cycle. Making your bed is something that you can easily brush off and say, it doesn't matter, I don't want to do it. But if you fight through that, I feel like you make better choices for the rest of the day. If you don't make your bed, it's easy enough to give in to other excuses throughout the day. Like I can leave five minutes later for work, I don't need to take my lunch, I can go out for lunch. It can become a slippery slope of giving up on the things that you really care about throughout the day by making that one choice in the morning. So long story short, make your bed peeps. After I make my bed, I like to let the sunlight in. This definitely differs from morning to morning depending on if I get up at 5.30 or if I get up at 7.30. If I get up and it's still dark, I usually opt out of opening up my blinds. Some mornings I like to open up my windows and let in some fresh air. While I'm working out, I love to feel the breeze from outside, but this morning it was snowing in Texas, which is super weird. So I did not get to open up my windows. It was way too chilly, but I had to show you guys my winter wonderland for the day. After I open up my blinds, I like to start my day off with 32 ounces of water. 
Sometimes it has a little bit of lemon in it. Sometimes it's just water. It really depends on the day. Sometimes I have a little bit of inositol in my water. Whatever you put in your water is totally up to you. Just hydrate. I love to front load my day. So if I start drinking around 530, then I usually have in a gallon around noon or one. So that really works out well for me. After I drink a little bit of water, I go ahead and toss in a pre-workout so that I can get started on some form of movement for the day. Sometimes it is my stationary bike, sometimes it's a dance class, sometimes it's my resistance band workout, whatever it is, just make sure you have a little space for you in your wellness if that is one of your goals. Today I was doing my stationary bike and I threw on my Beats. I am team Beats over team AirPods every day. I don't know if I just have excessively sweaty ears, but my AirPods will fall out of my ears as soon as I start to get sweaty. But I really enjoy riding my bike in the morning. My pre-workout definitely gets me going. I switch pre-workouts all the time. Right now I'm using the Alani New and I really love it. One of my goals for 2021, if I'm able to, is to get certified as a feet up instructor. So I did want to make some time for that every morning of this year. I will tell you, after riding the bike, my quads were incredibly tight. And whatever the equivalent of a Charlie horse is, but in your quads, that's exactly what I was getting every time I tried to kick up. So it was a little bit of a struggle this morning, but I told myself I would do it every day. If I wanted to teach, I want to get more control of myself upside down. So that is exactly what I'm doing. And this is just a reminder that you don't start everything as an expert. You have to be a beginner at things and you should really enjoy the process of doing that. I do like to make a little bit of time for prayer or meditation. I do like to start by pulling a prayer card. These are my prayer cards from Altered State. People always ask where they're from. So I like to pull a prayer card, think about that a little bit, and sometimes I just pray on what I've pulled. Sometime I turn on a meditation, which is what I did today. So I grabbed a bolster so that my hips are a little bit elevated so that I can sit in this position comfortably for a little bit longer. Do what you need to do to accommodate your body so that you can reach your goals. So I meditated for about 10 minutes. That's all it takes. The timing that you choose to do this is totally up to you. Maybe this isn't your goal at all. This is just my morning routine that I wanted to share with you. So I take some time to meditate, put my hands over my heart space and take deep breaths. I can't explain to you how powerful it feels to place your hands over your heart space while you're taking deep breaths. It's a practice that I really love and something that really adds value to my day. Next, I jump my sweaty butt in the shower. Right now, I'm using the Dr. Bronner's Eucalyptus. I switch back and forth between the different scents, but the Eucalyptus is really great in the winter when I have allergies. I feel like it really opens up my respiratory system. And I love to read the bottle on Dr. Bronner's as well. It just reminds me to walk in faith. I like to mix it with the Trader Joe's Nourish Cleansing Oil. It just replenishes some of that moisture because Dr. Bronner's can be a little bit stripping. I wash my face while I'm in the shower with my Tula, the cult classic. I absolutely love Tula. You can use my code EdenLoves for 15% off. And then I did a short skincare routine today. I just moisturized with 24 seven moisture. Super simple today. Then, like I said, something that's super important to me is having time to sit down and relax and have my breakfast and my coffee. So today I was making some greens, some eggs. I ended up using the Ethiopia blend for my Nespresso Ascenza Plus. I really, really love my espresso machine. And I had a nice iced latte. My breakfast changes from day to day. Some days I have breakfast tacos with avocado and spinach, and that's really yummy. Some days I have some fruit and eggs and some veggies, but I always make time for breakfast and to sit down. Same stuff, 
different days. Some days it's dark when I wake up and I don't get to let in the sunlight until later in the day. But I always make sure that the steps are the same, that I'm getting in my water, that I'm getting in my movement, that I'm taking time to cook for myself because I love to be in the kitchen. Regardless of the circumstances or what changes in my environment, I focus on the things that I can control and make sure that I am loving life. Some days I am not in the mood to meditate, so I take time to play worship music on the piano. Some days I love to go out on the balcony and sit and watch the deer and have my breakfast and my coffee outside in what feels like nature, even though I live in the middle of the city. Today it was snowing, so I watched from the warmth of my cozy couch and sipped on my coffee with a blanket and just took that time to unwind before I jumped into my day. I hope that this video gave you some realistic inspiration and that you'll head over to Audible to claim your free month of Audible Plus. You can also go to audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500, 500 Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more. Bye.